Oh, come on. Whoa. Someone's excited. You ready to go? Huh? Huh? You ready to go? Yeah. Well, the father in law called me and he has a skid steer that bent the front part, got bent. Um, wanted me to see if I could bend it back and fix it for him. So I'm gonna run over to the farm and look at the skid steer and maybe do some fixing, see what we can do, see if we can bend her back straight or got a couple ideas in mind and see if we got to use the press or if we can push it against something and try to bend it back but pretty decent little bend he can't get his quick detach bucket on and off because it bent I'll show you I'll show you what I'm talking about but before we get to fix and gotta eat my lunch yep that's a farmer's lunch on the go that's what I call that. This is a farmer's lunch. If you know, you know. Oh, Penny. Oh, Penny. Let's see what we got here. That guy is bent, causing it, you can kind of see it, but it's tweaked this way, and when you try to attach it to the bucket, pinholes don't line up where it drops down in, so got a couple different ideas to try to bend this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap a chain around here, and I'm going to run the chain underneath the skid steer and I'm going to try to attach it back here somewhere get a couple chains so it's nice and secure and then I'm going to wrap it around there and lift this bucket up and just kind of slowly roll that bucket forward and see if the chains will hold it and if I can just bend that back it's only got to go and it's only got to go an inch if that so if I can just get it just enough to get that lined up I think we'll be set if I can't, we will take the pins out and take this piece off and we will go put it in the 20 ton press and see if we can do that. So that's the game plan. Oh, Benny. Oh, Benny. Said we snapped that chain. Yeah. I can't believe it wouldn't pull it. I mean, I guess that is square tubing, fairly strong. Yeah. Obviously, they were able to bend it with rock or whatever. Yeah. Oh, we broke it back here too. Did it really? Yep. Broke that link. That's pretty good <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Need a stronger chain. 
Well, that didn't work out. I'm worried this will just pop this off. Should have checked that before, see if we made Maybe any ought to see if it's... made any progress. Yeah. You think it bent a little bit? I I swore I seen it bend some, but I mean it's still Yeah, you can still see the bow. Yeah. I guess we could Yeah, Let's see if it'll fit on the bucket. I don't know, I think it's still pretty bold. Oh, I'm used to the one at work. Huh? I said I'm used to the skid steer at work, not this one. It's different. You gotta have your seatbelt on to move it. That's dumb. Well, we got it bent a little bit back. You can at least put this on and get the latches down. However, we noticed a pin was missing here, keeping this from coming up and down to lock it. So we fixed, put a pin in, but now I noticed this little roll pin in here is pushed back pretty far. And it's allowing this locking pin to go all the way up into here, which is causing it a pain in the butt to push that down. So I gotta roll it forward and see if I can push this locking, this roll pin a little bit this way so it hits like that and stops it from going up. I don't know, I'm assuming that's, cause it goes too far up and then you can't break this over to get it down in there. So I think if that lock, that roll pin comes out, I think that should make a difference. Then as long as you can get it on the, we can get it on the bucket and close it. Should be good. There still is a little bend to it, but I think our tweaking did enough to make it work, but not sure. Maybe that's how it was to begin with. Gotta talk to him and find out and see if we need to get it further. If we do, we're gonna have to take it off and put it on the press. Oh yeah, see it already went too far. Need to get it to line up through there, but I lost it. Now you can't push it down. Ah, that works. Now let's get that lined up right there. Okay, there's the roll pin. Let's grab us a punch. That one's probably pretty good. Oh yeah, that'll work. I wanna give that a little bit of tap, tap, tap a room. Can't really do it. Hold. We tap it all the way out. That'd be oops. We might have just done that. Dang it! 
think he needs a new rope in. Oh, now it's probably too far. I don't know if that should even be out that far. Maybe this one's the one that's messed up. Oh, that looks looking down in that tiny little hole there. That one seems right to me. Doesn't allow it to go all the way up, which makes it keeps it from being a pain to do that. This one you can do like pretty easy. So, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Okay, so I got the roll pin down a little bit further. I was able to line it up. And now, when I pull it up, it is catching it right there. On that lip, I'm not letting this pin go all the way up. And now I can do it like that. So I think that problem is fixed. I think I'm going to try the chain idea one more time. I think the chain that we had was kind of a weaker chain. I'm going to get a stronger chain. I think we're going to give that just a little bit more of a try because I think it bent it enough that it makes it so it's workable. But if we could just get that extra half inch, I think it would make a big difference and it'll save me from taking this off. I really don't want to take it off very bad. I will, but hoping I can bend it. And I wonder if I apply a little bit of heat while I try to use the chain method, if that would make it better. Maybe I'll try that. Let's see here. That chain looks good. I'm gonna take that guy. That's a nice stout chain, eh? long to I don't think we'll break that chain maybe we're sure gonna see yeah, I think we're gonna apply a little bit of heat this time We're gonna get the old torch and we're gonna heat her up. Let's try that. Thank you. 
I think we got her. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.